something occurred to me that I've not actually made a video talking about what lucid dreaming is. So lucid dreaming is the ability to become self-aware in your dreams. It's the ability to wake up your own mind when you're already asleep and this enables you to become self-aware, become what we call lucid, which literally means clear, um, and be able to control and guide the dream. Now, to, the, to people who've never done this, it sounds insane. It sounds nonsense, it sounds all new agey and cliche, but I, I promise you it really does exist, it is real. There are studies to prove that it's real, and there have been numerous studies repeated that, that show lucid dreaming is real and provable. Um, but beyond that, just look at all the, the people that do it. You know, there are millions of people all around the world, you know, it, and, th and they show themselves online in various sub-communities and forums and groups and things like that. The, the people that can lucid dream, you know, there's a lot of people out there that can lucid dream. The chances are you have actually already had a lucid dream, either by accident or without even realizing it. It's a very amazing thing to, to learn how to do, right? Lots of us have an accidental lucid dream and in the moment it can feel very special and it can feel very profound uh, but we sort of leave it there you know we, we chalk it up to just being a random experience and then we move on without realizing that with a little bit of work you can actually learn to do that more regularly you know even weekly if you want to and obviously that's what this channel is all about i teach you guys how to lucid dream and how to learn how to control your dreams better um, but there are several reasons why you would want to do that but the first one is obviously you can have more control over what you dream about you can decide what to dream about, you can control the dream, for one. Secondly, you will sleep better, you'll feel more refreshed in the morning if you use the right techniques, and there are certain techniques which don't, which that doesn't apply to, but for the most part, you're gonna feel pretty good in the morning, pretty, pretty motivated, inspired, you know. After experiencing such a profound thing like a lucid dream, you're gonna wake up pretty motivated, you know, to do awesome things in your waking life as well. That's what I would hope anyway. There's also crazy benefits, like you can learn from physical skills in a lucid dream, you can practice martial arts and learn how to drive faster and all, there's crazy stuff you can do. Um, not to mention the fact that you, you're able to experience your fantasies, like literally do, uh, do the impossible. If you want to fly or teleport or climb an enormous mountain just with one hand, whatever it is you want to do, you know, breathe underwater. You can do all of these things every single night if you want to and you'll wake up not only with the memory of it, but with the motivation and energy that goes along with that. Like imagine if you had actually just flown around the city, how would that feel, right? And the same feel, you'll get the same feeling from having the experience in a lucid dream because your mind is aware. So to your mind and to your consciousness, right? To what makes you you, it feels real and it is real. Um, the only thing is it's obviously happening inside your mind and you're essentially what you're doing is you're getting your conscious mind in the way of this natural process of dreaming and that enables you to experience it as if it was waking life. You know, it really is quite incredible. But in terms of what a lucid dream actually is, it's just the activation of certain areas of your brain during a time of the night where you would, they would normally be inactive. So without going too, you know, too much into detail of which exact parts of the brain you are activating, you're just activating a similar type of awareness that you use when you're awake but it's not quite an awake state either. It's like a, a mixture between being in a coma, being unconscious, being conscious and dreaming. It's like a, a mixture of all of those four states of consciousness. And it's, neat, it's not any one particular state and it's also not all of them either. It's like a, a mixture of different parts of each state of consciousness. And that's why there's been so little research done on it is because it's actually quite complicated and we haven't really been able to, we haven't easily been able to define and study lucid dreams, at least not much. Um, and it's probably because of that, you know, it's quite complicated, quite a gray area. Like there are certain times where people think they've had a lucid dream, but they actually haven't. Or people think they've astral projected, but they actually haven't because it's not real. Uh, there's various different gray areas and uh, difficulties with defining lucid dreams and like studying them properly. But for the most part, it's just a dream in which you're aware that you're dreaming. Um, and that can take many forms, it might not last long, it might just last a few seconds, it's still a lucid dream. The best lucid dreams are the ones in the early hours of the morning between, let's say, 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., where your REM sleep, your rapid eye movement sleep is the longest, and you're, you've already had your deep sleep during the first part of the night, and so this is the time where you dream the most and dream for the longest. Those lucid dreams are really profound, and I've found that if you are able to get into a lucid dream in the early hours of the morning, whether that's through the wake back to bed technique or whether that's through the mild or whatever. The experiences you can have and the things you can do are really, really impressive. You know, you'd be very surprised 
by what you can actually do and experience inside your own brain. If this is your first, like, if this is your first contact with lucid dreaming, if you've never heard of it before, or if you just you want to learn more, definitely you know dive in. There's a there's a huge amount of stuff to learn. Uh, loads of techniques, loads of different tips, and like you could go any way with this. You could decide that you want to make this a really big part of your life and a hobby, or you can, you know, just try it once and then that's it. But what I would really advise you to do is to just get more in touch with your dreams and your sleep, and think about how you feel, and just try and have a lucid dream. Okay, there's various ways of doing that. I would suggest to start with my lucid dreaming boot camp, uh, which is a like a 30 day printable course that I've made, which shows you, you know, step by step on each day for a month what you should practice and how you how to have a lucid dream but obviously you don't have to do that you don't have to use that course you can use any of the the free articles or tutorials or, or videos on this channel for example um but if you if you feel like you need that extra helping hand and that sort of guarantee um then obviously check out the boot camp if not then watch another one of my, one of my videos there are several on this channel and yeah just dive in and see what lucid dreaming can offer you. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various lucid dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.